it seemed, it seemed like you were in touch for most of the game and you had that little period in the third quarter, Oscar hit the post there and you had a bit of momentum, but yeah, yeah how, do you, how did you assess it overall? Oh, look, we, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to forge a new identity. Um, you know, it's based around the smaller things in the game that you know you can't compete without. So there's some things we did well, and some things we did poorly, which we need to get to work on. So I thought the general play contest and ground balls and those type of things that we've been found wanting for for a couple of years now, um, we were competitive in that area, clearances, um, centre bounce, and between the arcs. But the the general play ball movement, I think we really struggled to to keep the ball in our front half, and we couldn't get out of our back half. So those two combined. Uh, put put us under the pump, um, but the spirit they showed halfway through the third, opened the game up a little bit, um, took it on, and yeah, we saw some really good resilience. We we really ran out of steam in the last 15 minutes, but um, yeah, we didn't we didn't uh, turn our toes up. What, what do you put that ball movement down or the lack of clear ball? Clear oh, look, uh, yeah. So we've got to we've got to get to work on that. I mean, the real basic stuff, the kick-ins and zones. You know, um, we did have 24 kick-ins, so we had plenty of practice, and we couldn't really penetrate. And Port are the best at it, so um, we knew um, it would be a challenge if we uh, got stuck in our back half. But I just don't think we defended our um, our forward 50 when we gave the ball back to them. We, we couldn't keep it in our front half. I think we had 13 front half turnovers, and um, you're just not going to compete if you have that type of uh, not attitude, but that type of result. And with those forward half turnovers, do you think that's a little bit of fatigue from trying so hard at the contest that when you sort of get out, it, you, you're a bit tired at that point? Nah, no. Nah, I just think Port had a really good system, and we um, we failed to do some of the basics around, you know, front half. Team defence is about the front half, so um, we've been working on that really hard, but we got exposed today. So we'll, we'll get to work on that. We've got the Giants next week, who are just as good as Port as well. So pretty good audit in that in that phase of the game. Um, but there's some other parts we, we liked and we'll uh, we acknowledge that as well. What do you have to do to kind of stop, I guess, them coming through and then going through the corridor because they're able to do that a fair bit? Uh, it's, it's complicated, but it's also very simple and I, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but um, you know, every team's trying to do the same thing with, the, with pretty much with their ball movement and every team's trying to defend the same way. We just um, didn't protect the corridor enough, you know, and that was one of our, one of our objectives. So. Uh, they might have got 15, 20 metres and then come back through the corridor. So there's parts of that we need to look into and, and get better at. And they're pretty basic stuff, really. But um, yeah, we'll pull in that area. Bailey Williams, only a few weeks to prepare to be your number one ruckman again. Wasn't probably great against Adelaide. Really had a good performance today. You must be proud of the way you went. Yeah, well, Bailey's, you know, he's um, uh, is he 22, 23. Probably the, one of the youngest rucks in the comp. Hadn't done a lot of ruck work over pre-season, so I thought he competed well. Um, Jamison rucking and playing back, I thought was something we've tried in the last few weeks. It's they worked pretty well today as well. So that combination, whilst we'd love to have Flynn available, he won't be for a few weeks. So um, yeah, I thought the mids handled um, the stoppages reasonably well. I think Port are excellent in that area. So to do that and Bailey to, to improve off last week, which he needed to, um, was was pleasing. Harley started like a house on fire. How did you assess his game? Harley, uh, I'm just glad he got through. Um, yeah, um, he was probably like an 18 year old um, playing his first game, so it's a lot of attention on Harley throughout pre season. He's probably used to it, but I think he's at home when he's on the ground and playing footy. So we pushed him forward a bit today, um, but that's not to say we can't play him back if we need um, a bit more bounce. We tempted to do it today, but his first game, we just wanted to sell him. I was going to say, how much tempting after that first quarter? You played him a lot more forward in the second quarter. You stuck to your guns with that during the week. You said you weren't going to play in full midfield time. How tempting, though, was it after his great first term to throw him back in there again? In the, in the No, he, he played the same role for the whole day. So he started started on ball and just rested forward for five or six minutes each quarter. Uh, he might have got stuck forward a bit too much in the second quarter, but he, he, we didn't. Um, we played him forward this week. As a, we rested him there um, last couple of weeks at... Uh, at training, and he's had some really good impact as a forward. So um, we'll, we'll keep exploring that. We just don't want to get too much um, information for Harley. So going to the backline meeting, the centre bounce meeting, the midfield meeting, just it just it didn't want to cook him in that. Or it's easy to just go play out of the goal square for five minutes. So we'll keep working through him. Um, he's a good kid. He's you know he's pretty resilient, and uh, I thought he was pretty good today. How exciting is it to actually see him on the, you know, see him in an AFL game, you know, given all the hype that's been around him, kind of, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all the debutants this this round, it's been exciting to see, um, but they're all not the finished product as well. So as long as we just temper our expectations and know if they contribute and 
do enough to hold their spot, then we're pretty happy. Um, he looks like he picked up the pace of the game pretty well. He's physically fine, so he'll just pick up his endurance as he goes. And you know, he'll. Um, I think the midfield group's actually building quite nicely with with Elliot back now. At, you know, pretty much full strength, and Tim Kelly along with Duggan and Ruben. Um, yeah, there's some positive signs there. Can I ask where you think Andrew Gaff's game is at at the moment? He only had the four touches, and yeah. you had to sub him out. Where are you sort of seeing him at the moment? Yeah, he didn't have a didn't have a good half. Um, so um, look, his his form over preseason warranted selection. So he was uh, out of touch today. So we subbed him in the second half. Do you see Campbell Chesson maybe starting on the wing next oh, week? I can't. We've got to look at the game and see how it all went. But um, I thought Campbell was pretty good when he came on. So um, yeah, we'll have to assess that during the week. Uh, how's McGovern's ribs? That big bump at half time. Yeah, he came he's back a tough bugger. Yeah, I'm just good. We've got to keep an eye on that because sometimes he doesn't tell us. <laughs> and find out he hasn't got a lung. So I was uh, <laughs> just got to keep an eye on him because he's, um, he's tough. Um, Oscar Allen and Darling kicked one goal between them. It was a tough yeah. day for your forwards. The delivery wasn't great. How are you sort of working on that connection? Yeah, time? yeah. I would be have 40 inside 50s. So, um, yeah, there was periods there we had some pretty good supply. Um, I think we had 22 in the first half. So the second half, I think we had 18. So we just need to get more supply to those guys and come across a pretty good uh, back half in, in port. So you know, they keep working on it. They've been, been pretty good form over pre-season. So we just got to keep backing them in. It must be nice, though. There was, I think, 12 guys played in a waffle pre-season game. Or yeah. 10 guys played in a waffle pre-season game. Waffle had a win. Today. Yep. So I think we might have gone through unscathed as long as Gov's OK, which um, is a positive step. And I, I felt like we ran out the game OK. It's got a pretty, pretty tight late there. But um, I think what they've built over pre-season has held them in good stead. Virgil kicked four goals, I think. And Jack Did he? Jack kicked three. Kick and four. Barnett apparently had a really good game, so it's nice to also see some young guys pushing yep. as well. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we get, um, you know, Lamb back through Waffle next few weeks and possibly uh, Jai as well. So that'll add to the numbers as well. How close do you think Sheed and Ryan are as well? Ryan Sheed's probably a couple of weeks away from some minutes. So, yeah, there's... Um, Getting some good depth, and we can have some good chats at that match committee in the next couple of weeks. Liam Ryan as well, sorry, just quickly. Yep. Not yep. far. Yeah, probably two weeks away. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Adam.